rubbish in the middle. Um, I was supposed to be waxing this little table. I've been having so much fun just experimenting and doing all kinds of neat things on it because um, it's, it's just different product and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. But I wanted to get back on here to show you, um, I have done like a really light color wash you know with a little bit of blending not a lot I used my brush um, I used my uh, paint pixie brush and I use one brush and all my colors together I put my stuff on my little tray and I go back and forth and go around so that's sort of how I do it in a lot of water but um, I have a little bit of distressing here and there that I did the last time, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to put a gold wash over top of this. So I thought I'd get on here and just show you, this is gonna be like a really watered down wash too. So, um, you know, it'll just be, it's not dry brushed or anything. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this this way a little so you'll be able to see what I'm doing better. There, I think you can see really good. Okay, I've got um, my gold shimmer glaze here on my thing. I've got a little chip brush and the Misto bottle. And that's all I have. I like to spray a little water in my tray so I can keep my brush damp. I don't want it to get dried out because I want this to be a wash and not be a dry, dry brush. So I'm going to take like that much on the top of my brush and go ahead and get that right in there first off. And then I'm going to um, put a little mist on it. And then I'm going to catch my drips because I'm not trying to get that drippy look. But I want this, but I want this to stay sheer too. So I'm going to use the water. I'm going to let my water do the work for me. And I'm going to, I want to be real light about it down towards the bottom of the legs and heavier up top. And see if you ever get, if you think you have too much, you could just go ahead and mist it with water and break it down a little and dab, dab it back. Cause you don't want uh, runs. I'm not looking for that runny runny look so and then you could just come back with your brush and smooth it out and this is just gonna be a golden hue all over all of it um, I'm getting really excited too because I'm thinking about maybe putting some crackle on this in some places too so I'm gonna go ahead and move over here I'm gonna get I've probably not quite that much there that much and I'm going to go ahead and stick it right in there real good for just a little bit. And get your bottle. And don't be afraid to let your water mist. You can clean the drips up. Just keep a paper towel in your hand. Um, I'm going to take that back just a hair. There. And then I'll just sort of drag this little bit of glaze around so I don't have to reglaze my brush too. But when I come over here, I'll go ahead and get the, um, the dab in there real good with a bunch of that. You could go back and watch um, for drips. Oh, I'm sorry. Watch for drips because, I, like I said, I don't want the drippy look. I just want like a, a soft blended blended look so when this dries um this is gonna let me see i have my dryer here let's see if we can dry it a little and you can see what it does what kind of glaze it just makes this shimmery glaze and you can do this even lighter you can do this even thicker it just depends on what you're looking for I've been working on this little table here and I've got the little picture I did with the telephone on it and that's sort of inspiring me to do, you know, keep doing stuff to this little table. So, 
Oh, this is turning out really super nice. If you see any place that looks like it might be a little run, don't be afraid to gently wipe it off. Um, because it won't hurt it. I'm gonna, I see a little bit of thin that out there. Mm, that's gonna be so pretty. I'm gonna leave that thickness right there in the crevice too and hopefully it'll thicken up and it'll make it look like gold crud in there like you would do with the dirt, but it's gonna be the gold. So, oh, that's looking so good. I hope you can see that. Let me pull this up even closer. My lighting is terrible here. I've gotta, I keep telling the boss man we have to do something. Let's see. Oh, look at that. There, I see it. Do you see? Look at that. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. And I'm going to do that all over this table. I'm going to continue. Um, it almost looks like it was dry brushed, the streaks on there. I'm going to continue and go ahead and go around the whole table. And um, I think that's going to be turn out really cute. I've got the top. Let me reel my camera up here. I'm going to put this gold on the top too, but so you can see the top. I have not done anything to the top yet. Um, let me get you just one more. There we go. There. So I, the top is a little heavier in spots, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to, well, we'll do it now. Let's do it now while you're watching. Okay. I got the water. I've got water on my end here. I always keep it there to have extra water to keep stuff moving around because if you want to do a wash look, you know, you want it to be wet. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and just start almost like you're dry brushing. I'm going to come back and put a little thicker bit around here and I am going to brush that back too. Let me catch it. There you go. See how I caught it up and I'm going across there? And this is gonna, I can't wait to see this table completely finished. When I'm done, I'm probably just gonna wax it. Um, maybe I'll put a water resistant top coat on the top so you can at least use the top but I'm almost sure the rest of the body I'm gonna wax I just I'm a wax girl really I love a hemp oil too a hemp oil is a great top coat so I'm just gonna try to push as much around on your brush before you reload it I know sometimes I just don't get to thinking and I'm reloading and reloading but sometimes when you're doing this less is more and then go ahead and get your bottle and I work in little sections because when you work with water and I have a fan going too in here because the back half of my AC's out okay I'm just gonna keep going and blending it in and letting the water help me push, push it around more. This is gonna be really pretty. I can't wait to see it all dried. It's gonna be nice and shiny. So this is, you can go around and you can apply this any way you want. There's no right or wrong way. Um, so if you want a lot, put a lot. I'm going to just have a lot in spots and then a little bit everywhere. I can't wait to see that dry. I think I'll go all the way around and brush down the whole rim too, and that'll sort of give the top and the, the rim a different direction. No, 
it'll just give something, give the eyes something different to look at. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop there and dry it so maybe you can see what it looks like. And don't worry now, like I said, if you see somewhere, if say you think that's too heavy, wipe it down, get your paper towel, or you can use a rag, and you can push it around for a minute. This is gonna be so pretty. It's gonna be like, is that gold or is that gold? Oh, there it's starting to dry. It almost gives texture like this is wood. Once this dries, I'll flip this up so you can see. I'll slowly move you. I've got this nice stand now that you can do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and it's not too bad. Oh, look at that. Can you see that coming out? Okay. I'll just eat that with my hand. Okay. Oh, that's really pretty. This little table's gonna turn out so cute. I'm gonna post it with that picture. Look at, see what I mean about the gold and you can have it thicker in spots. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get off here and get this table finished. And um, whatever I decide to do for my next step, I will get a video of it so you can check it out and see what I'm up to. Bye, guys.